Good evening, parents. I'm James Campbell, principal of Seminole Ridge Community High School. On behalf of the faculty and staff, I'd like to welcome you to the open house for the 2016-17 school year. Tonight, you will have the opportunity to meet your child's teachers by following their class schedule. You will have 10 minutes in each class and five minutes in between to find your way around this immense campus, just like your students do. There are students stationed throughout the courtyard to help you find your way around. Additionally, you may see our other administrators around classes. We have five assistant principals who are assigned to work with students based on their last name. Mr. McClellan works with students' last names A through C. Ms. Boutte has last names D through G. Dr. Reed Thomas, last names H through O. And Dr. Burden has last names P through Z. We also have a community school program by, run by Dr. Hay. There is a dean who handles discipline, Mr. Barnwell. Our guidance counselors are also assigned to students based on their last name with the exception of ninth grade. Ms. Baldwin is a counselor for all ninth graders. Students in grades 10, 11, and 12 are assigned to the counselors. Dr. Garcia works with students' last names A through CO. Ms. Passatempo, letters CR through HA. Ms. Hartle, letters HE through MC. Mr. Welch, letters M through R. And Mr. Mickens, letters S through Z. Tonight, teachers will share an overview of each class, their expectations of students, as well as ways in which your child can be successful this year. You may have time to ask questions as well, but please remember that tonight is not a time for conferences about individual students. If you need to speak with your teacher about your child, please schedule a conference with guidance so you can talk in a more appropriate setting. While we hope to provide you with a wealth of information tonight, you may still have questions at the end of the evening. Please check out the Student and Parent Handbook on our Edline page at www.seminoleridge.org. Stay tuned for a video from the school district on the upcoming sales tax referendum vote. Finally, please know that here at Seminole Ridge, our mission is to engage all students in a superior education through which they may achieve their highest potential. We will strive to achieve that goal for your child and look forward to working with you along the way. I hope you enjoy all your classes and go Hawks! Ooh, a penny! You see this penny? My mom told me not to pick it up because it's dirty and it's just a penny. But just a penny can add up when it's combined with a whole bunch of other pennies. Don't tell my mom, but I pick up pennies whenever I can and then I wash my hands. I find them on the sidewalk, the washing machine, between my mom's seats. I find lots of them in between my mom's car seats. This November, I'm not the only kid that's counting on a penny. The penny sales tax will give district schools $1.35 billion to improve technology in our schools. It would replace old school buses. A lot of our schools will get things fixed that need fixing, like roofs and air conditioning units. And we'll be able to make our schools safer with security enhancements. That sounds pretty awesome to me. But I'm not a grown-up, and I can't vote. But you're a grown-up, and you can vote. A penny might not seem like much, but it means a whole lot to us. Think about it. All that spare change could add up. In 2008, the Florida legislature began cutting the capital budgets school districts used for construction, repairs, and major expenditures for things such as technology and school buses. In all, the capital budget for our district schools has been cut a devastating $865 million since 2008. Now, our school district estimates it needs more than $1.4 billion to address much needed building maintenance, classroom technology, an aging transportation fleet, and important security enhancements that will make our schools safer. A 2016 penny sales tax will raise $2.7 billion. If approved in November, local schools will receive 50% of all revenue raised. The county government and cities will split the remaining 50%, with 30% going to our county government and 20% to our city governments. It's one penny and it's not forever. The penny sales tax will expire in 2026 or when the much needed $2.7 billion is raised, whichever comes first. One county, one penny. A penny counts. Election day is November 8th. 